This farm safety video was made possible by a gift from American Family Insurance. University of Minnesota Extension thanks them for their support of farm safety programming. I'm Emily Kruckelberg, Extension Educator for Farm Safety and Health with University of Minnesota Extension. This video will highlight the unique challenges of working with livestock and considerations for safe livestock handling. An aspect of working with livestock that is different than equipment and other areas of farm safety is working with a free thinking being. Livestock, like humans, take in their environment and what they observe and perceive informs their behavior and decisions. In addition, most livestock are prey animals in the natural world. Due to this, they commonly react to threats and stressors via the fight or flight response. A major goal of working with livestock is to avoid triggering a fight or flight response by creating an environment that is calm and predictable for the animals. Next, I'll be joined by my colleague, Dr. Joe Armstrong, Extension Educator in Cattle Production Systems and Veterinarian, to review the principles of safe animal handling. When working with livestock, the basic principles of stockmanship are best understood by knowing how cattle want to move. Cattle want to see what is pressuring them. They want to maintain contact with the herd. Cattle want to move opposite your movement. Cattle want to circle back to anything that makes them uneasy. And because cattle have trouble thinking about more than one thing at a time, they need calm, clear direction. We can use these principles of cattle movement to our advantage. When emptying a pen, it is important to think about the direction you would like cattle to move. This can help you know where to place yourself in the pen. In this example, the cattle need to leave this pen and move towards the bottom of the screen. The appropriate place to stand is in the center of the cattle movement circle. Direction and pressure can then be applied to the lead animal, and then pressure should be released once the animals are moving in the desired direction. We want to avoid applying pressure to animals that have nowhere to go, because this can make them feel trapped and initiate a fight or flight response, which can be very dangerous. This principle and the tendency for cattle to move opposite your movement pattern is most easily seen shoot side. In this example, I need the front cow to move. Standing at the back and pushing the last cow is applying pressure to an animal that has nowhere to go, and the cow I want to move has no clear direction for me. Alternatively, if I stand at the front of the chute and step past the cattle in the alley, the cattle will want to move against me and opposite my direction, and they will move forward. Once I have my desired movement, I circle back to the front without applying any more pressure to the animals. These principles are also beneficial when moving large groups of cattle. In this video, the cattle need to re-enter the building through a gate at the bottom of the screen. Applying pressure to the cattle in the back of the group will be ineffective and these animals have nowhere to go, which can be dangerous. Direction needs to be applied to the front of the group and the rest of the herd will follow. You can see here, this bubble indicates someone is moving to give direction to the cows at the front. Once they have given that clear direction to the cows in the front, the rest of the herd follows without having to chase cows to the destination. If the person under the overhang were to move towards the bottom of the screen, the herd would slow down. If they move towards the top of the screen, opposite the direction of the herd, the cows would speed up. Thanks, Dr. Joe. Developing good habits when working with livestock will translate to effective handling. When we're communicating with livestock, we need to remember to build trust, understand the predator-prey relationship, have a positive attitude and demeanor, apply pressure and release it, no loud noises, no flailing hands, and using sticks and paddles only to maintain distance and control, never on the animal itself. Prods should be used only as an absolute last resort. Practicing livestock safety is vital to preventing accidents and improving farm safety in our communities. This is Emily Kruckelberg with University of Minnesota Extension, reminding you to slow down, think twice, and be safe. <laughs>